Here you go. Mm. Damn. Mm. Ow! Yes. Why'd you Damn. do that? <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Sit with the Intel, and we are here for the season finale of Beef. And also, we are sponsored by the Geekish Network. One of the co owners himself, Chuck. I'll tell the people what's going down. What it do, people? I'm back again. Last episode. Yeah, man. So I, it's a bitter farewell because this mm -hmm. season has been so good. Thank you all so much for, for being uh, a part of the Beef community. The comments have been absolutely hilarious enough to change. And uh, let's go ahead and get this bad boy started. Oh, yep. Both of the cars go Both down. Of them. Oh, I saw one flip. Yeah. Dang. There's the those crows. crows. <laughs> Two crows, the female and the male, unwell. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, this goes back to what he was talking about. Um, the. <laughs> when the crows were uh, trained to attack Dick Cheney. I think yeah. they were talking about that in the earlier seasons. How smart they are. The crows sat there and had a full conversation about them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh my gosh. Figures wow. of light. The figures of light. He's still alive, Danny's He's still out. alive. To the bitter end, boy. Oh. Oh, dang. She moves quick. Stay right where you are. Hey, Amy, put, put the gun down. Don't move. I'm calling the police. Oh. <laughs> the There's that act of war. <laughs> Danny! Dang, what are running with a with a bum leg? Danny! Wow, this has turned into like a horror film for real. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a tight situation going on right now. I'm gonna jump on her from the top of the thing. Shit. Oh. Damn. He pushed her down again. Why'd you make me do that? Mm, mm, mm. Coyote's going to get him. Told you. <laughs> I think. Fresh meat. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's a bad roll. Ah. Nope. George would have answered anyway. George is done. He's done, done, done. And and I can't blame him. Like y'all are less than run right into him. Y'all are less than a quarter of a mile away from the road. I don't understand the lostness of it all. But then again, whatever. They're probably disoriented. I'll give them that the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. My brother is dead because of you! <laughs> it's totally opposite sides of the frame. That's hilarious. I just, do you know how to get back? Look, I hurt my ankle when you shoved me down the fucking hill. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get out of here and I'll show you where the road is. I won't call the cops. Yeah, right. <laughs> Where's your gun? I don't know. I lost it. How do I know you're not uh, hiding it? Huh? Because you're, you're a pathological liar. Because I would be <laughs> shooting you with it. <laughs> hey, hey, come back here. No. Use nice words. 
You called me a liar. I am not helping you unless you use nice words. Really? If I want to carry you, you don't get to talk, period. Damn. The beautiful thing about this, they do have good attributes of each other. They, 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 they both got good attributes. They're just bad humans. <laughs> yes, I know where I'm going. Head towards those trees. Which trees? They're all the trees. The ones I'm pointing to, dumbass. <laughs> do you have anything to eat? Yeah. Hold on. Oh. I got some Skittles. Oh. Yep. Okay. Here you go. Mm. Damn. Mm. Ow! Yes. Why'd you Damn. do that? You started it. You better not shoot his ass. You better not shoot his ass. <laughs> really? Really? I hope they shoot each other. Y'all still can't get over it. No. Oh. Oh, shit. Damn. Now she, she can't it. carry you. Now he can't carry you. Put the MMA on him. Ugh. Humans can go days without water. So relax. Mm. That is 100% not true. Oh, yeah? How long then? Yeah, I don't know. 19 hours? 19? I've slept 19 hours without water, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> You're a child. You're a baby. You can't even walk. All right? And you fucked yourself, by the way. I can't even carry you now. Yeah, I can't carry you. Someone's going to find me in the morning. Right. Yeah, you really think someone's looking for you? I bet George doesn't even know you're missing. Dang. Yeah, he's not going to check on you. That part. Mm-hmm. Please, you're not going to shoot me. Relax, Jesus. God, you are fucking proof that Western therapy does not work on Eastern minds. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> and stay where I can see you. Because I will shoot. I have nothing left to lose. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. Damn. You hate this? No, those are flowers. Go towards the rock. Juicy shit thrives in the shade. <laughs> God, just listen to me and look for what I said. Jesus. <laughs> you know your problem is? Oh, only think about yourself. Your problem is you only bitch about everybody else. Let's just stop talking, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You're born, make choices. And suddenly, you're here. Great summary. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know where here is. Yeah, his yeah, his are, brother are may be alive, and the other dude may be alive. Oh! Uh. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck do we? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I just Google shit and pretend that I am. Oh, we all do <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah, they both deserve that though. <laughs> I'm gonna go find help. No, you won't be able to make it back to me. Don't leave me here. Please. What the hell? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah hallucinating. Dream. What even is poison? I think they're just chemicals. What are chemicals? <laughs> Wow. Maybe because uh Maybe they're dead. Milk wasn't part of our ancestors. And this is the ancestor this is the afterlife. I have no idea what is happening. Um there's Fuck! Fuck, I messed everything up. Damn. I have to go home. The day you honked at me, I was trying to return these abachi grills that I bought to kill myself. Well she's not hallucinating because she she didn't know that. Yeah. It's like the world wanted me gone. Maybe that's why we're sick. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, they're still, po they're still high on poison. What? Voices. Some somebody walked away from them? Were we before monkeys? Sponge. We weren't sponge before monkey. We used to have tails. Sometimes I can still feel where my tail used to be. What in the hell is that? Oh my god, someone's coming. Thank you so much. What? <laughs> <laughs> what if our generation started copying the porn that they saw in real life? Digital, like a digital analog bridge. Oh, whoa. 
What? They are really tripping. You know, exhaustion. All the kids are doing it. I bet they don't even know that it used to be less common. What? <laughs> Damn. Is that what my brother was like? Yeah. Yeah. Very rough. But like in the okay, best okay, way. He said, but, it, but in the best way. <laughs> I think he just wanted to feel seen. I mean, we all do, right? I don't want anyone to see who I really am. We saw. Oh, there's the dirt again. Yeah. Shot of the dirt. I, I couldn't tell him. You know, I, I couldn't tell him a lot of things. Why not? I think when nowhere feels like home, you just retreat into yourself. Ah, that was kind of deep. But George and June feel like home, right? I don't know. Damn. Dang, I know, right? And I've been chasing that feeling with her ever since. But she's getting older. And her love gets very conditional. <laughs> People think babies are so innocent and cute, but they're not. No, they're, they're all screaming and crying because they don't got what they want right away. <laughs> they're the most ruthless of us all. Mm. They just like the words or power to do anything about it. Baby with mobility and strength is just a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> I expected this little child to make me whole. Mm. Mm-hmm. Why is it so hard for us to be happy? It took y'all damn near killing each other to have some real conversations. Oh, shit. oh that's not good. I think I was like 12 or 13 at the time. And I got out of bed and walked over to my brother's. God, he must have been having a good ass dream because he was all smiling and shit. It made me so fucking mad. I grabbed a mechanical pencil. I wonder if they are dead. I was thinking that too. I'm like, or. She's dying. It was because when I looked up, there was a motel guest staring right back at me outside the window. I thought I did that. Wait. The thoughts are mixing together. Did you jerk off to my butt photo? I'm sorry. It's okay, Danny. They switch. Did you know Joseph Heller titled his book Catch 18, but his editor arbitrarily changed it to Catch 22? <laughs> no. Well, for as long as I can remember, that's what being alive has felt like. Catch 22. Can't experience light without dark. We're stuck. Yeah. And they're both catch 22s to each other. He's wearing white. Well, she's wearing white. He's wearing black. It's like a void. Not, it's like empty, but solid. Yes, that's right, Daniel. Empty, but solid. Right under the surface. So he's wearing her clothes now, right? And she's wearing his? No, she's in her clothes still. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Never mind. He's I, just got the bandage on. That's and then she, bro she snapped his arm. There's really nothing after this. We should have done this more often. Hmm. Christ. At least we did it once. Yeah. This is nice. There's that soil again. Back to the dirt. Yeah. Ah! Oh, you made it. Danny, wake up. Uh, uh, they covered each other with sticks. We're still here? Look at all the vomit That's patches. Awesome. Just patches of vomit everywhere. We're everywhere. You know, it's kind of funny that we're rushing back to the absolute shit show that's waiting for us. <laughs> yeah, there's some murders you're going to have to account for. <laughs> but LA's pretty beautiful. Oh, yeah. We get so used to it, it's easy to take for granted. LA's amazing. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, look, there they are. Oh, it's so peaceful from up here. To my lawyers, and you're on the news. Wow. They didn't have oh, a sad Thank you, God. <laughs> He's alive. And look, Danny, if you need help with anything, like financially. Uh, or... No, 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 I'll be fine. <laughs> it's going to work out as it should. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. She found like, her Looking soulmate. like they're going to the light at the end of the tunnel. It does. Metaphorically speaking. Baby! George? Are you okay? Get your hands off her! 
Oh, shit. Well, damn. What? Oh, shit. Dang. And look who's there by his side. Damn. What? What? Damn. It all happened because of this. Oh, Damn. I did like that. It's weird, but I liked it. I that liked last it. last episode was great. Oh my goodness. Yo, that was dope. I did like that. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you want to talk about like not seeing it end like that. I did not think it was going to go like that. I thought it was going to be like this horribly tragic. I guess there's a bit of tragedy in that too, it but is. I just didn't expect that to be the ending. You know what I mean? <laughs> they ate those damn berries. No berries fucked them up. <laughs> that made them have them their realization. <laughs> they had a really good come to Jesus moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. You know, for a lot of people, they always talk about like rock bottom, right? A lot mm -hmm. of times you have to hit like that rock bottom in order for you to bounce back and become the person that, that you need to be, right? You got to get that perspective. I feel like each one of them was the rock bottom for the other person in this mm -hmm. weird spiraling mess that they had to go through. It went from like a revenge flick kind of thing to like this weird kind of like family thing to dealing with disappointment and life to a shootout fest thing going on to a heist to like it. It had so many different levels and layers uh, to the series as a whole, man. Uh, what, what's your thoughts? I mean, I thought it was interesting. I thought it was a, uh, it's, it's a confrontation of fear. Okay. Like they both confronted their fears and all the, their transgressions against other people. They committed in to, to preserve their own fear of things. Okay. Like, oh. like, like when she said, I thought that George and June would be like her solace, her solace. Yeah. And she thought her job would be her solace. And it's not that. Yeah. And here it is. She's with this guy that she's been beefing with. Yeah. For, for, for almost a year now. Yeah. Almost a year now. And, and then when they finally, they reconciled, they just reconciled. They had their come to Jesus moment and they reconciled. <laughs> then they had their happy ending. And then her, her past, her future disrupts that. Yeah. Like, I can't blame George. George is right. George was like, yo, you kidnapped my daughter. Yep. You, my my wife was hostage. The person that bought her company is dead. <laughs> so here it is. I've been looking for her for the last two days just to make sure our divorce finalizes. But I'm kind of worried. I still, <laughs> he still loves her. He said he loved her still. Yeah. He just can't be with her. No. And all of a sudden, I see y'all walking through a tunnel together. Yeah. I'm going to shoot you on sight. Yeah. And it, on sight. and it was kind of funny because when they kind of showed the angle from his perspective. And I see his shadows. So... You know, for all you know, for all he knows, he was hurting her. Yeah. You know, so he was, you know. you know, he was probably trying to know. save her in his. Yeah. And she's like, and she was like, if you need a lawyer, you need an assistance, you know, I can find you a good lawyer. You know, they were, they were, she was like, you're my dude. There was a moment when they were talking about, you know, God in the universe and existence and all mm -hmm. of that. And then the, there was a line, something to the effect of God created us so that he wouldn't be bored in a space of just in, in just an expansive nothingness, nothingness yeah. kind of thing. You know, there's yeah. there. Are, I've heard that before, you know, that like uh, the God body theory that we are all part of him and like like fingers yeah. on a hand connected to a larger part. And then, you know, we're. Where God experiencing yeah. itself, experiencing That's, itself. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I used to talk about that when we were at school, when we were all at school, we took a religious course. Yeah. With Dr. Guy, and I was like, God had us just to experience itself. Yeah. So it kind of like, kind of like moves into that, into that space. Um, I know we've mm -hmm. been playing and saying on well, numerous times throughout the, the series, like the yin and yang effect that they're just mm -hmm. so one's rich, one's poor, one's male, one's female, another one are each trying to figure their problem is the same, even though they embody two totally different lifestyles, genders, or however it is you want, you want, you want to describe mm -hmm. that, but yet they're still one. Right. And to have that conversation with God, like kind of like, you know, yeah. meeting itself, it just adds to like some really cool philosophical kind of like 
uh, conversations that you can have in that moment that it took like you know psychedelic drugs which many people believe that that is a better way a quicker easier way to get closer to the source they're laying on the ground they're in nature while all of this is happening <laughs> So, you know, it does kind of like feed that narrative of, of God recognizing itself, like we are recognizing yeah. itself. And that yeah. even though we're these wounded kind of people per se, you know, we're, we're still all the same. I'm spitballing and rambling over existence and God and stuff, but that, but that's, that's a testament to it's how like good this. this show is, right? You said yin and yang, it made me think of this. Mm -hmm. One had nothing with everything to gain. Mm. And one had everything with every, uh, with, had everything with everything to lose. Oh, that's another good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Danny had nothing, so he was all about gaining, gaining stuff. Yeah, she had everything. She had a ten million dollar deal over her head and everything, mm. and had and had everything to lose. And yeah, and was actually trying to lose it because she wanted to spend more time with her family. She was uh -huh. like, all I do is work. Yep. So yeah, that that's and, a very good Danny point. Danny had family. Yeah, Paul was there. Yeah. I think Paul and June are both one and the same. They're both people that they are responsible of taking care of that are childlike. Because mm -hmm. I mean, as much as as much as I, I enjoy Paul, you know, he's very childlike in nature for a lot of. Yeah. And but that could be because he was defeated because he got by, by the five schools and heard nothing back from none. Well, I yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I think oh. Paul is a product of of Danny's Danny. neglect and Abuse. bitterness and of and fear. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But in that in that same sense, like, you know, Danny still had to try and take care of his mom and dad, right? His family. He's, so he's still taking care of, like, people that are having difficulty taking care of themselves and won't allow them to grow up. And You said Paul and June being children. I think it's Paul and George. Ah, okay. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can yeah. kind of see that. I can kind of see Cause, that. Because cause, cause George is coddled. Yes. And she continued the coddling. Yes. He's allowed to paint these, uh, make these ugly vases. Yeah. His mother is telling her, telling him their daughter, their daughter is not good enough in art. And her, her son is not good at art. Yeah. And her husband got lucky in art. Yeah. We're kind of getting tiptoeing deeper into the, into the deep end of everything. What, what did you think, like, I guess in the metaphysical space of all of this, like, how do you feel like Jordan? Jordan, give me give me how you feel about Jordan uh, and give me how you feel about uh Isaac regarding this. If 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 that if we are speaking in, in these okay. in these grand they terms. are they are very similar. I think they're yin and yang to each other. Okay. Jordan is the one with everything. Okay. And it moves unabrashingly mm -hmm. about everything. Right. Like she knows she's the queen of the upper world. Yeah. And Isaac is the king of the underworld. I okay. move the way I move, even though it may be it may, may not be the most legal way to move. Right. But I I'm king here. Right. And I established my kingdom where Jordan established dominance. Jordan stole her brother's wife. He's just as grimy as anything that yes. that, that and, Jordan could have done. I mean, that, she's all that about self. Isaac, well, yeah. Isaac was not all about self. Isaac was about family. He really was. He was about family. Yeah. Only time he became about self was when the Filipinos, he owed that money to. Yeah. He owes $500,000 to the Filipinos. Yeah. And he had it. And you took it to build a house for your parents. Yeah. So let's talk about like fate then. It seems, uh, I think Danny had referenced a couple of times, he was saying like, I feel like with the Catch-22, you know, everything that he does, there's some kind of like other payoff that has to be to, to balance mm -hmm. it out, right? It's always like a catch, right? Mm -hmm. um, he got the house, it burned down. You know, he got the job, his cousin ends up taking it. It's just it's just like a whole whole bunch of that. It kind of segues into like, okay, so let's let's talk about like the church too. The church was a big part of this mm -hmm. show. Yes. You know, uh finding himself like Danny did find himself in a moment. He found some peace. Yeah. He found peace until Isaac came and disrupted it. He's always competed against Isaac, I think. Yeah. And Isaac's always been the cool one. Right. I'm the one of the parents sent over first. Right. I'm the cool one. And your little brother sees through me. Mm -hmm. You, I am to you, but your but your little brother is to you. Mm. Like so, so Isaac is like the big brother to to, to Danny. Mm -hmm. Like Paul is the big brother of being the little brother to to Danny. Okay. Like Danny's the big brother to Paul. So Paul's looking at Isaac like that, bro, he's fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. And Danny's always defending him. But then people say, Paul, Danny's fucked up. Paul's always defending him. Yeah. You know, and they're differently, right? Yeah. Where Paul is like, you know, you don't have to plan everything. You just live in this moment. Mm. And and Isaac is like you manipulate everything right. to have your moment. Right. And Danny's caught in between those two. 
Hmm. All right. Oh, I remember I was going to say uh, with Fate uh-huh. and the Catch-22. Um, do uh-huh. you think that they were destined to meet like this when it comes to, to, to Danny and Amy? Or do you think it was their choices that led them to this? They were probably always destined. Well, they were destined to meet, mm-hmm. but the ending was what they chose. Okay. That situation, that road race situation could have been done easily. Right. She didn't have to flip him off. Yeah. She, she did pause before it. she did it too. She paused before yeah. she did it. She took a moment to think about it. Yeah. And, you know, she could have hopped out the car and said, "I'm sorry, I pulled out," and he could have said, "I'm sorry, I pulled out." And that, they could have been the best of friends. Right. Instead, yeah. they try to they tried to be vicious to each other anonymously. Right. But would they have been able to heal in the matter that they healed had that choice not been made? Maybe not. See, that's Maybe the not. thing. That's the catch twenty two. Yeah, they probably would have went in their right. own separate direction. Or and they would have both been tortured souls too. Because I'm I'm assuming yeah. I'm assuming that the good ending is that Danny recovers and they become friends, very strong friends, because they've had this horrible experience that they've bonded together. Mm-hmm. But without her flipping him off to set all of that in motion, they would still go through their lives as tortured souls. Absolutely. I uh, I think that's true. I think it's interesting because the last scene was her and Danny. Right. And not her and George. Right. So I'll let you know George is still gone. I love you, but nah, what happened between us and what happened with our daughter? Nah. Yeah. This is, this is not going to work with us. Yeah. And she, she saw the, this is the one person mm-hmm. that actually saw her. Yeah. To the point where they switched bodies. Yeah. Which is interesting. Yeah. I yeah. They switched kind of bodies too. and they yeah. saw and felt each other. Okay. I'm Both one. of us are broken, similarly, but very different. Yeah. The last thing, because I know we're going to get, we're a little long. I know we're going a little bit longer than we typically could do, but it's the season finale. Dang it, man. My brain just went dead again. <laughs> so it, is, it is the Catch-22, Doug. Yeah. This is the Catch-22. Oh, where- I was going to say, I remember what I was going to say. People love a death theory. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. That they're actually dead and we're seeing their spirits, this, that, the third, blah, blah, blah. Is there a death theory that you can come up with that they, that they are dead? And if they are, when did that happen? And the rest of this is just stuff that's going on in their mind. If this was a death theory, mm-hmm. actually, I think it probably happened in the very beginning of the first trade. When they fell off the, when they got ran off the road, they died? No. Oh. Episode one, when they chased each other, both of them died there. And they just went through this cycle for death uh-huh. to come to this reconciliation. Oh, so, like they're, so they're like in like a, a type of purgatory. Purgatory. And they have the to graduate time. purgatory in order to get to the next mm-hmm. level. That's a pretty good death theory. That's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't think I don't think they're dead though, but I don't think they're dead at all. I can I, I can don't. certainly see um how people could construct a death theory. I think they found love. And not like romantic love. Right. They found they actually found love. Yeah. As two individuals. I think so too. I thought I want to go know. with that too. It's like they kind of trauma bonded. Yeah. They realized it wasn't all trauma. They just had to find the right person. Right. That expressed what they felt. Because they had that episode about both of their childhoods. Yeah. And and let you know they're very similar. Very. Very similar. You Hmm. know, where Amy's kind of like Isaac. Her parents had her to anchor themselves here. Mm -hmm. Her her mom saying, well, we had to have her. And the dad's like, she was expensive. Mm. We had a baby to stay here and we're still struggling. Woo. That's, That's terrible. tough. And she heard that. Yeah. They both came from. I mean, that lets you feel so unwanted. I can't imagine saying something like that in private, not knowing our child heard it. Yeah. Even when she went to go back to visit them, the father, you don't come back here enough. Why would I? You didn't even want me. Yeah. Y'all yeah, but- had me so y'all could stay in this fucking country, not because y'all wanted me. Then when y'all got me, you resented having me. Mm. You know, but that goes to that conversation of them talking about trauma. You know, um, passing down trauma, family trauma, passing yeah, down over and over, over again. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I know that's not a an uncommon thing for you know a, a lot of people in this world. I know uh, many times in, in in our community, in the black community, we have some serious trauma that's been passed down, and it's just interesting to see how trauma from a different cultural set that's not my own. And then watch that storytelling talking about because mm-hmm. it really is a story about trauma if, if you're really getting yes. down to it uh, and, and how that affects you. So wow, hey, this is this goes back to what we've always said. You know, we need uh, more storytelling from different groups. You know, yeah. so because this yeah. was, this is definitely not like your typical Hollywood. You know, storytelling type tropes and stuff like that. It broke it broke a lot of the no- narratives and norms, which was fun and refreshing. 
So I'm I'm hoping like more projects like this come out. A24, you know, I know we we talked very briefly about how they're really brave with their with their uh, projects that they have. So yeah, just just more stuff like this, more stuff like yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, it's a different type of story. It's one of the first stories that say, yeah, that's why I don't believe in God. Mm. That is very non-American, traditional American. Mm. Okay, okay. Like, even, I see where you're going. Uh, even when you look at black cinema and mm -hmm. black a uh, television that though god in it as something that is a, as a savior mm -hmm. because you know then the the institution of slavery right but for these people for asians indians mm -hmm. their experience with white imperialism is different than ours yes and that's so they true. can say and they have religious traditions that necessarily don't believe in God. It's, uh, they believe in perfecting you. Mm. And you can see that in this writing. Yeah. Yeah, it's I think. collected in this writing. And I, I, think, I think that's needed. You know, just, just mm -hmm. a different way of telling these stories, telling these amazing stories. Um, thank you, A24. A uh, big Thank huge you. out to to Ali Wong, who did a tremendous, absolutely mind-blowing job. And Stephen Yoon, I've, I've been saying his wrong name incorrectly, and I do apologize for that. Um, man, talk about it. A, a great bounce back. <laughs> All bravo. Right. Yeah, yeah, bravo. Um, yeah. I give I give the series. All the actors did a great job in this. Yeah, I give, I give the series like a 9 out of 10. You know, like yeah. definitely good, good, strong 9 out of 10. I would definitely recommend it. All right. Hey, I know this went super long, but like I said, it was a season finale. So we just wanted to, you know, express a little bit longer. Uh, tell us what we got right. Uh, tell us what we got wrong. And the fun part for me is always, uh, you know, tell us what we missed. Uh, we love the comments. You don't have to worry about spoilers anymore because we've seen it all. If you got any cool little links to 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 give us some supplemental material, let us uh, put that in the comments as well. What's up, Chuck? We didn't talk about the crows having a conversation in the very beginning. Oh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. We'll leave that in the chat. We'll yeah. leave that in the chat. Yeah, that too. Um, oh. oh, 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 the big thing, the big thing I want to say before we tie up everything up too is that uh, we will be discussing this. Actually, this will be out before we do our live stream. Dang. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, well, well, here's an idea. By the time this comes out, we have we would have already done a live stream uh, discussing this uh, at, at length with some additional people on Binge Ready, which is a show that is on uh, the Geekish Network. Do yourself a favor and head over to uh, the Geekish Network and find that particular show. It, it won't be too terribly far from when this posts and then you can get a deeper dive into the things that we loved and uh, and may not have liked or enjoyed and, and then we rate it. Chuck, talk to you a little bit more about the Geekish Network. He's been the sponsor of Beef. Thank you so much. Go ahead, Chuck, love, love, let the people know how they can uh, get in touch with you. Okay, the Geekish Network, if y'all didn't know, is a BIPOC, Black Indigenous People of Color Network of geeks that cover all the entertainment material in the world from from comic books to books to whatnot you can find us on youtube.com backslash at the geekish network or twitch.tv backslash geekish network we are here to serve you guys so we would love for y'all to join in our community and build with us because we want to talk about our storytelling as well and our creativity video games and everything so come join us yeah it's it's a lot of fun don't worry if you didn't get all that there'll be a link in the description for mm -hmm. that and of course i'm going to plug cinema mosaic it is another reaction channel that's going to deal primarily with international content so that we can talk about what we just discussed you know stories uh, that are not um, swayed by Western beliefs and thought. And it's it's tons of fun. You can find it real easy. There'll be a link in the description or you can go to uh, youtube.com forward slash at Cinema Mosaic. And that is it. I, we are done talking gear off. Thank you for your patience. And if this is your first time checking it out, we have a link in the description for some of the previous episodes. And yo, we out. And we'll catch you on the next project. Peace.